All right, so here's the bracket. It's um quarter inch steel with eighth inch steel legs welded on. Um, this back here is just like a support to keep it from moving back and forth. Well, really just like forward. Um, it's got like reinforcement tabs under it. It's pretty rugged, I ain't gonna lie. So, uh, these three bolts, one, two, three, they mount to the LF20 power steering pump, which is kind of rare. Most cars use the LF30, which is a lot stronger. These have a weird shaft in them. Anyway, um, this bolt goes to the top. Uh, this bolt right here goes right there. And there's a third one that catches that bolt. And this is kind of like a relief to uh, go right around the uh, outside of the flange shaft piece. And I think there's this bolt up here. I think I added one more hole just to grab another one. Um, it comes up. And the alternator about right, <laughs> about right there is where the pulley sits. Um, and it comes up and grabs uh, this top alternator bolt. I think it was right there. It's like a it's a pretty big bolt. It uses like a 16 uh, millimeter head. And I took a stock uh, idler pulley and cut off the back of it, the uh, piece that's kind of opposite, and ran it through there, kind of like that. And I used a different bolt. It, was, uh, it might have been the same bolt. Anyway, um, got that thing spaced out, used some washers so that it lined up with this guy. And supercharger sits kind of like. Hang on. Set kind of like that. Um, and the. Uh, I actually used a Ford. It's off a V6 Ford. 6PK2195. I tried three or four different belts and this one was perfect. And since this pulley was offset, I could actually kind of recenter it and put more tension on the belt. Because I know for superchargers, belt slip is like a huge what, uh, thing problem. So, anyway, had some like adjustability in the belt. Um, this pulley is freaking big. I only made like three, maybe four PSI at full throttle or like full load. So. That's kind of a bummer, um, but you can make a smaller pulley by using the um, this piece of it. This piece actually has the splines on it, so but you kind of need a lathe to keep it really centered. So, um, on to the supercharger. This is the stock top piece. Um, I didn't have a welder at the time, so I was just trying to use all the stock stuff I could. I welded that with a welder at school. And it's like the first time I ever welded, so they're pretty just shitty welds. Um, let's see. This is off the stock piece. I just kind of cut that off and cut out a square right there. And a Luma welded, whatever it's called. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, a Luma weld rods, Harbor Freight, you know. So. It's, it does alright, but as you can see, there's like a pretty big crack right there. Um, this stuff is exhaust sealant. Terrible, terrible idea. I should have just used like high temperature epoxy. Um, this is a two inch outlet that goes down to my inner, or went down to my intercooler. Um, came around, went through the intercooler, and then back up to the engine. This right here I used a... Uh, Volvo, no, 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 Volkswagen recirculation valve, kind of like this. So uh, it would come around and then kind of blow back into here to like recirculate or whatever, or blow off the excess air. This was used for PCV. Um, and there's another one in the back that I used for idle control. These are just like one inch by three quarter MIP barbs, uh, like brass piping barbs, whatever. Um, let's see, what else? I think, oh, uh, to make the template, I just started off with cardboard. Um, kind of got a rough shape and just started slowly trimming it. Matched up all the bolt holes. Traced it out on this piece of steel. And then uh, cut it out with the oxyacetylene, I think's what I used. Tried to use a plasma cutter, but it wasn't strong enough, so it worked out pretty good. Cleaned it up with the angle grinder. All really simple stuff. Um, 
this pulley right here, actually a replaced in the stock idle location pulley. Um, because, say this would sit right here, the uh, tensioner was right here, and this was so big, the way I had the belt routed, that they were touching. So I just got a really small pulley just to kind of, uh, for clearance pretty much. Um, and this is, this is like 10 or $15. Uh, can't remember. I had to hollow out the inside to get it to fit the bolt size, but it actually worked pretty good. So that's, uh, cool. Um, yeah. And then here's that car that it was on. <laughs> cool. So it sat about right here, kind of at an angle. Um, and then I use this intercooler here. This is a single side intercooler, the intake and then output. Right now I've got a uh, an eBay GT30 with a custom engine mount that kind of makes the arch in there. And this oil feed line. Um, this controls the scavenge pump. On the bottom of the turbo there's a um, what do you call it? A turbo drip tank. So the oil runs to the drip tank, comes up this tube and into this pump down here, and then goes back to the engine. Yep. And that's pretty much it.